Beside the grand house of Hardwick Hall lies the ruins of the old hall, which after a couple of years of restoration work has now finally reopened to the public. Hardwick Old Hall was built between 1587 and 1596 by Bess of Hardwick, who was one of the richest and best connected women of the Elizabethan age. Bess was born in 1527 into a minor gentry family and was married at the age of just 15. Her young husband, Robert Barlow, died a year after their marriage. Bess married her second husband, Sir William Cavendish, in 1547. Together, they brought the nearby Derbyshire estate of Chatsworth, built a new house there and made it their main country seat. Sir William Cavendish suddenly died in 1557 and Bess married for a third time. This time it was to Sir William Lowe, one of Queen Elizabeth's courtiers and herself soon became an intimate friend of the Queen. Sir William Lowe died suddenly in 1565, leaving everything to Bess. She would then marry for the fourth and final time, this time to George Talbot, the sixth Earl of Shrewsbury, and one of the richest men in the country. After the collapse of her fourth marriage in 1584, Bess moved from Chatsworth to her family estate at Hardwick. As she was one of the country's most prominent countesses, she needed something grander than her father's medieval manor house to reflect her status. In place of this old manor house, she began to build Hardwick Old Hall in 1587. Although the old hall is now only a pale reflection of what it once was, its ruins still offer a glimpse of Bess's status and ambitions. On the lower floors you'll find many of the function rooms, like the kitchen which houses an original ceiling beam. As you pass from room to room you'll see information boards telling you what the room was and how it was used. On the upper floors, the two wings contain state rooms for formal entertaining, lit by tall windows which command bold views across the open landscape. Each suite of state rooms had its own great chamber. Although the old hall is open to the elements, many of the original plaster overmantles are still in place.
The Hill Great Chamber was the highlight of Bessie's hospitality to all visitors. This grand chamber would have been flooded by light from the huge windows. Above the fireplace here is a huge plaster work which depicts Bessie's rise to the top of society. In fact, all the windows looked out towards property owned by the family. To the north, looked out towards Bolsover Castle, owned by Bessie's son, Sir Charles Cavendish. The fireplace windows look out towards Chatsworth House, and the south windows face towards Wickfield Manor, a property owned by Bessie's last husband, and was a temporary home to Bess as Hardwick was being built. In 1590, before the old hall was complete, Bess started to build another house immediately beside it, the new hall, this time using a professional architect, Robert Smithson. The old hall was not abandoned in favour of the new one. Instead, the two were intended to complement each other, like two wings of one building. The uppermost platform gives you a unique view into the shell of the house and the surrounding countryside. From here you can get a sense of just how big the house is and how it commands the landscape. Almost in every room it is possible to get a sense of the house's former grandeur. And if you look close enough you can still see original woodwork. Bess died in 1608 and the house passed to her son William Cavendish, the first Earl of Devonshire. He was the founder of the Cavendish family who later became the Dukes of Devonshire. The Dukes eventually came to prefer Chatsworth over Hardwick and partially dismantled the old hall in the 1750s which gradually became ruinous. The Devonshires are still based at the Chatsworth estate that Bess and her father had brought all those years ago. Hardwick Old Hall was one of the most innovative houses of the Tudor period and its once grandeur is still visible as you walk the ruins. Original plaster and woodwork are still visible and it is easy to imagine how the house would have once been. Hardwick Old Hall is a must visit and is free to English Heritage and National Trust members. It is easy to spend an hour or more exploring the ruins, taking your mind back to a bygone Tudor age. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share this video out there. You can also support the channel by leaving a super thanks. So until next time, goodbye.